strip out your old caulk and re-caulk your shower or tub. And this is the finished product. Okay, I got it all cleaned up pretty well. Only thing I am going to do now before I re-caulk, I'm gonna use some rubbing alcohol and a rag. I wanna make sure that the silicone sticks really well. I'll clean it with the alcohol and once it's dry, we'll re-caulk it. Make sure you read all your instructions for the type of caulk you're using. You can see here, I got kitchen, bath, and plumbing, uh, quick seal, ultra advanced siliconized sealant. You can see right there, number seven, wait four hours before exposing the water. Sealant reaches full performance in 24 hours. Hope this helps. Hit the like down below. Thanks. Okay, I think we're dried, so get yourself your caulk, your caulk gun, something to cut the end. I have this caulk spreading tool that I'm going to try to let you know how it works. Probably we'll end up using this caulk spreading tool. And then you need something, once you cut the end, to push down into the caulk tube to puncture the seal inside here. So what you want to do is cut this end at a 45 degree angle, about the width of the bead of caulk you want. It's better to start smaller because you can always cut more off. You gotta go down into that hole with whatever you're gonna use to puncture this seal, like so. You can see the caulk come out on it. Take your caulk gun, push this button on the back, pull the plunger all the way out. Slide the back of the tube of caulking first. Point your angled end down. And then squeeze the trigger. You'll notice the plunger will come forward. Now as you're putting the bead of caulk on, you gotta keep a steady pressure on the plunger to release the steady amount of caulk for the speed you're going down the wall. If you ever get to where you need to stop, push this release button right here and it will relieve pressure on the tube and it will stop the caulk coming out. But I highly suggest let's get some rags, paper towels, or something ready. Started. Keep the pressure even, as even as you can. Keep going down. See how I released the pressure. Right. We're going to try this thing. And I don't like it. Wet paper towel. You can use this to wet your finger too. The, really the trick is the angle, the constant pressure, and the speed and then how much caulk you put in to, then you can just use a wet finger to smooth it. This thing, that thing was garbage. You can start wherever you want. I started up high because you don't get much water up here. It's been a while since I've pre-caulked a bathroom. So I wanted to get the practice in. It looks okay. So there's the first corner bead up high. There's the second corner bead up high. I'm gonna do the lower corners and then I'm gonna do the basin. This one you're gonna have to get a feel for. Cause you're gonna have to go down to a certain point as far as you can until your angle gets out of control. And then you're gonna have to reposition and come from the bottom up and meet where you're at. So I kind of thin the bead out here because I'm gonna overlap it. I 
wetting your finger, you leave a nice smooth look. Um, that wasn't bad. I've done better. The key to smoothing is getting the right size bead. I had some gaps in the tile where there wasn't any grout, so I'm a little bit wider. I personally think the skinnier the bead, the, the better it looks. Get however big of a bead that you need, and then when you wet your finger to smooth it out, don't squeeze it all the way in because you'll push it all out to the side. Just barely hit the bead and smooth it out. careful to get these corners sealed. Um, there's spots where I got too much caulk on it because I had the angle wrong. But all in all, it's a decent job and it's gonna it's gonna work. It's gonna keep the tile waterproof which is the important part. Now you want to wait at least 24 hours for the caulk to cure before putting water on it. Air on the side of caution. I'm gonna go two days before we take shower in here. So now all you gotta do is dispose of the caulk, clean up, put your shower curtain back up, and wait, and then you can use your shower. Keep an eye on your caulking, make sure it doesn't peel back anywhere, and then it should last you a good couple of years. Do me a favor, go down below, hit the like button for me. Look right up here. Check that video out as well. Thanks.